All right. I went and reconfigured the L and R buttons on my controller. So hopefully now they'll function the way they're supposed to. And else I'll just I'll spare you all the hullabaloo from putting out when they need it. It is raining like nuts outside. I love it, but the dog is scared, which is why he is under the desk right now. What do you have what do you have to say about this uh shy guy, the dog? Wonderful input, thank you very much for that. You know what, it just now occurred to me that I have... I have the ability to write save states, and I really could have just written a save state during the tutorial. But you know what? I'm playing this game vanilla. I'm not using those save states in here. I'm gonna play this the way it should be played. On a on a PC with a USB GameCube adapter. But I've made it through this game before without save states and stuff, and I'm gonna do it again. Probably. But to be 100% perfectly honest, I might not even record the entire game, but probably I might just finish it on my own time. If I ever do finish it, I mean, I mean it's not like I'm missing out on much if I don't, because I mean, I've already seen the ending. One of the first games I beat, it was. Remember the part when I said I was going to spare you watching all this while I get the buns working? Oopsie doodles, I lied. Oh my god, he does have eyes. Hold on, wait until wait till it shows his face again. He has eyes. Yet, yeah, okay, I know, shut up. Stop talking, let me look at your eyes. I don't care about ghosts, let me see his eyes. He has them. He has his eyes. He has eyes on his head. Alright, let me see. See, see, there's like a little black dot in the corner of his glasses there, and there's there's another one in the other glass that you can't see right now. Did I just say in the other glass? God. The other lens. Let's look, see? I'm pointing at it, but you can't see me pointing at it, so there's not much of a point in pointing at it. Ha, there's no point in pointing at it! That's a joke! That's a funny joke. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's gonna function, right? Yes. Ha ha. It is functioning now. Okay. He hasn't told me to use the B button yet, so that, that's understandable. <laughs> I was about I was about to scream and punt a child, but then I remembered that uh that I can't even do that yet. I know. Shut your mouth. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Now, now we're cooking with salsa. Yes, I know. I know. I know. All right, where's this? Ah, gotcha. It took me this long to get to the tutorial for it to work right. Yeah. Yeah. I turned on sidestep mode to see if it, you know, because I, because I played the game like this the entire time, so. I never knew what really. I tried sidestep when I was a kid, but I never really noticed the difference. And then it turned out that there's a huge difference because I have to aim. See if I change the sidestep and I move around like this and I strafe around everywhere, and then I have to aim like that, which is you know more like a third-person game. But I'm more used to this in terms of Luigi's Mansion. Get out! Ha 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 ha! What is that? Five? It's four. Four at the same time. Yeah, I can count. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight. Pulled your ghost 3000 as a team. You got me, young fella. Yeah, you bet that'll do. I got all of them. Yeah, that's how to do it. Set up fireworks in an old abandoned cellar. That's safe. No, I'm not going to the gallery. I already know what the gallery looks like. Yeah, we've met in a past life. Mansion, please. Now the adventure truly begins. Oh no, look at Toad. Look at look at this. There's some hair in your face. How's that feel? Alright, I got um Toad voice. Ah! Never been much good at this. I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay, let's try something else. Huh. Wow, it's Luigi! You're finally made it out, Joy! Thank goodness! Me, my last Princess Peach! 
Ah, speed! I oh, read that out of order. My dad, Peach asked me to. Um, <clears throat> Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you won a mansion, and he never returned. The, 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 then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of goose, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. Yes, yeah, I will find Mario. I'm not finding him for you, though. I just punched him in the head. <laughs> oh, thanks, Toad. Thanks for saving my game. That's that's not even breaking the fourth wall. You, you interdimensional little, 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 little dude. Blow out the candles. Oh no, they're angry about the candles. Who poured out my candles? You, Mr. Lime. Okay, I'm not lime green. I'm like I'm like I'm regular green. <laughs> I'm not any. I'm just regular blue. That was a reference. Thank you. Come next week. Just like Little Red Cup before you. May you wander, wander in the dark star, in the darkness forever. You afraid as uh, I was born in the dark, and here they are now. They? Who's they? Oh no! It's the ghosts! Well, just a singular ghost right now. But now there's multiple! Because there have been more than one in the room. Now I'm scared. Hippopot is fine. It is absolutely unacceptable to to to, uh, to avoid sucking any of the tablecloths up. Yeah, haha. -ha. I'll get you in my vacuum. Wow, that was the easiest thing I have ever done in my entire life. I am the absolute winner. Yeah, Luigi, that's how you open chests. Good job. Uh, and at least to that room over there. And by that room over there, I mean this room right here. <laughs> Open that door. Open that door, Luigi. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Oh my god. The reflection in the doorknob, his hand was translucent. Oh my god. What if Luigi is the ghost the entire time? Not like the ghost, but he's a ghost. He's a ghost the whole time. What? Wow, Luigi, you're just murdering your own kind. But you don't even realize who you are on the inside. That would be a twist. If like at the end, it's like, Luigi, you've been a ghost. And he's like, oh, no. Oh, no, it's the purple, purple pinkus. The ever dreaded purple pinkus over here. You got away this time, but next time you won't be so lucky. There's probably 3DS emulators, right? I mean, no one would be as necessary because, I mean, the 3DS is easily on hold at any time. But, I mean, probably record a little bit of Dark Moon, but probably less willing to replay Dark Moon because it's been, you know, less than five to seven years since I beat it on like, this game. Actually I, haven't, actually, I haven't even beaten it yet. It's good. It's good. To be perfectly honest, I probably wouldn't say I like it as much as this one. So, because you see, the weird thing about Dark Moon is that it doesn't take place in a mansion. It takes place in like multiple mansions, and even then, they aren't really mansions; they're more just kind of like worlds, which is like more. Uh, I guess what. Guess I would say what Nintendo's done more recently, but they've kind of always done that, you know. But like it's not with this game, where you know it's all in one huge spooky mansion. It's like a bunch of worlds, and then they have to, you know, throw in all that stuff about like art, of, like you know, magic items, which is what the Dark Moon is. But, like, oh, like, all the pieces of the Dark Moon, and it's a pretty forgettable plot. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you can really complain much about a plot. Really. I mean, I would say four Mario Mario games have had good plots. I'm looking at you, Mario and Luigi series. You got yourself some creative plots there, and I love you. Oh no, there's just spooky ghosts all over the place. That banana is mine. Dark Moon is actually, uh, I would go as far to say that it's even not as creepy. Like, this game, of course, is, like, still cartoony. I mean, there's a gorilla thing from bananas in here right now. But Dark Moon, like, this game can actually be creepy. 
like the, the like the soundtrack is pretty jarring sometimes when like um oh, I forget what scenarios is in like boss fights or something it'll be like don't cheat don't cheat don't cheat and that's like some dreadful music not dreadful as in like bad but it makes you feel the dread get in here get in here you big wiener I must be honest I I'm slightly surprised that the that this controller's analog stick still works after the many years of uh, playing GameCube games, and specifically this one, because he got to rotate the stick like a madman. Hey, what happened to the blue ghost? There was there was a blue ghost. There was a blue ghost. Where did he go? Yeah, suck that key right up. Yeah, baby, get the key to the thing over there. I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna talk to Toad. Hi, Toad. Where were you on the night of Tuesday? I have ways of making you talk and it's flashing my light in your face. Yeah, yeah, shut up about Mario. Wow, your happiness fueled the light, like single-handedly. Is that how we have to, um, is that how, like, our new energy source? I mean, you know. Besides the fact that solar power is 100% ready to go at any time, but, you know, the, uh, but, you know, we just need a room, just a huge warehouse, just full of toads, just standing there, being happy, having the time of their lives. Another thing about Dark Moon is that Egad talks to you on your thing, which is actually a DS, which is pretty funny. It's like the original DS. He talks to you on your thing like a thousand times a minute. Uh, yeah, I know. I know about looking for their hearts, Egad. Thank you.